Colorado Rapids 2021 MLS season preview. I am Mike Guyalmi, your host, Sons of a Pitch, an American soccer podcast, bringing you the last but not least MLS season preview for 2021 Colorado Rapids. Last year, 28 points, fifth in the East due to points per game, plus four goal differential. And yes, only 28 points, but because of COVID, the league changed the rules for Colorado to let them into the playoffs with points per game. They lost at Minnesota in the first round of the playoffs, but they can build on that. Uh, this episode, we're going to talk about off-season ins and outs. We're going to talk about designated players, MLS Cup odds, breakout youngsters, coach review, projected starting 11, most important player. Talk a little bit about the first game coming up on April 17th. And lastly, make sure you stay all the way till the end for my predictions, how I think Colorado will fare in the 2021 season. Getting underway here. Guys, hit that subscribe button down below. Turn on your notification bell as well so you don't miss any of our awesome American soccer content. And uh, smash that like button. If you're a Rapids fan, if you're a soccer fan, MLS soccer fan, hit that like button down below. Players in for Colorado this year. Michael Barrios, a trade with FC Dallas. Philip Mayaka, a generation Adidas player. Oliver Laraz, homegrown. Darren Yappi, homegrown. Michael Edwards, and Yaya Turi, all homegrowns. Players out. Abdul Rabobajawi, option declined. Declan Wynn had his option declined, as well as Nikki Jackson. Not a lot of movement for the Rapids. A lot of homegrown signings, not a lot of players out. Uh, really consistently staying, staying the same, keeping the same team, and that can bode well for Colorado. Another year playing together under Robin Fraser, could be a good thing for this club. So designated player review, only one for the Rapids. Eunice Namley, two goals and four assists in 17 games last season. Uh, Eunice Namley is a hell of a player. Really liked what I saw from him last season in that chopped up crazy year of 2020. Uh, two DP spots though for Colorado. They should probably spend some money and get some more DPs. They do that, they could end up contending for one of the top spots in the Western Conference. Without that, I don't think so. I think they might be struggling to get into the playoffs just like they did last year. Uh, Eunice Mamley is a good player. I'm sure they could get, find another two that are just as good, if not better, than Eunice Namley. Um, but it is what it is for now. Now, MLS Cup odds, plus 5,000, tied for 18th with CF Montreal and Nashville SC. Uh, I agree with them uh, being in the same range as Nashville SC. I do not agree with them being in the same range as CF Montreal because CF Montreal is trash, and um, they shouldn't even be close to that. They should be with Nashville in that middle there. Uh, but plus 5,000 is the odd makers there in Vegas. Have a little bit of uh, faith in, in Colorado this season, but not a whole lot to win MLS Cup. Now, before we get to breakout youngsters, guys, check out that join button down below. We offer memberships now, Sons of a Pitch, an American soccer podcast. Join our YouTube channel. You're going to get some awesome perks, as you can see in the graphics here. You've got a starter level for $1.99 a month, which is nothing. A buck ninety-nine a month? Come on. $4.99 a month for designated player level. You get some more perks on top of the starter level, like once a month live stream reactions only for members, designated player members, uh, and others. So check out that join option and uh, continue to grow the sport of soccer here in the U.S. of A. Breakout youngsters. So this section of the video uh, always have to get a little bit of help from Reddit because uh, being a national podcast like this, covering 27 teams, you can learn all about the starting 11, the players that are in the starting 11, some of the depth pieces, the bench pieces, but trying to keep an eye on all of these young players, these academy players, crazy. So uh, with that, I went over to Reddit, got some good help. Big shout out to Colorado Reds. Colorado Red on Rapids Reddit, uh, giving some great, great detail on uh, the young players for the Rapids. And the two that uh, I think are probably the best case scenario for a guy who's pretty much unheard of to going up in being a household name in to the casual MLS fan, Oli Laraz and Darren Yappy. Oli Laraz, first year homegrown, looking pretty good in the preseason. Um, getting a lot of praise from the veterans on the team 
for this young man. So uh, could see big things from Ole Laraz. And then Darren Yappy, your backup center forward, which is going to get some minutes because that is a very weak spot of depth for the Rapids. Not a whole lot of help uh, at center forward there for Colorado once you get past Ru- uh, Diego Rubin. So Diego Rubio. All right, so let's get to the coach review. Robin Fraser, I love Robin Fraser. A hell of a coach. Uh, has had so much MLS experience as a player, as an assistant coach, now as a head coach, and as a head coach with Chivas USA. Uh, really the full package. Huge hire by Colorado a couple of years ago. And uh, I really I really like Robin Fraser, and I think he's going to do big things for the Colorado Rapids. And I think if they spend some money uh, and pick up a couple more DPs, Robin Fraser could this t- could turn this team into an MLS Cup contender very, very quickly. Uh, defender in his playing career, he's very, very good defensive teams around when, when he's coaching. Always have a very solid defensive squad. And I uh, really, really like what I see from him and expect big things from him him going forward for the Rapids this year. Projected starting 11. 4-3-3 um, is the formation that I see Colorado going with. Goalkeeper William Yarborough in the defense. Vines, Trusty, Abubakar, and Rosenberry in the midfield. Bassett, Price, and Acosta. Up front, your wingers, Lewis and Namley, and then Rubio up top. So, uh, Kind of, again, like almost every team in MLS now is playing in a 4-3-3 formation that is just fluid between the 4-3-3 and the 4-5-1. Um, big time emphasis on the wingers. And Jonathan Lewis and Eunice Namley are two good ones for the Rapids. So a very strong 11 for Colorado. Once you get back behind them, it's a lot of young talent after that that is pretty unproven. So that's... The one thing of question for this club is what does it look like after the starting 11? Uh, I really, really like Sam Vines. I, uh, I like Kellen Acosta, Jonathan Lewis, uh, very good young American players and uh, excited to see them continue to grow with Colorado and hopefully uh, be able to impact on the U.S. M&T side uh, in the future. Now, let's talk a little bit about the most important player. Uh, for me, there's no question. Being the only designated player, it has to be Eunice Namley. This, this, the most important player is really simple. If the, if the, the guy does well, the team's going to do well. If the guy doesn't do have a good season, the team's not going to have a good season. For me, it's Eunice Namley. He is the star player for Colorado. If he has a bad year... It's not going to bode well for the Rapids. If he does well, then you know what? Chances are good that the Rapids will end up making the playoffs and doing pretty well. So really just comes with the territory of being the only designated player. There's an extra air uh, that you have to live up to as a DP in MLS. And Eunice Namley is that guy being by himself for the Rapids. The weight of the team is on his shoulders. Now, first game, April 17th at FC Dallas, a very evenly matched game. Uh, so I, I expect this one to be a great game. Check out my picks and predictions video uh, to see how I think this one will fare out. But uh, really, at FC Dallas is a pretty good uh, pretty good test for Colorado on the road. Always going to Dallas is a tough game, but Colorado should be able to handle it. So Excited for that one on April 17th. We're only, as of time of recording, it's April 8th, so we only have nine days left till the season opener. Can't wait to get this season started. Now it's time for predictions. The best part of the show. I give a ceiling and a floor. Before I do that, guys, hit that subscribe button down below. Turn on that notification bell as well so you don't miss any of our awesome American soccer content. And hey, if you're a Rapids fan, hit that like button. Let's drive this thing up in the search results so that more Rapids fans can see the preview just like you. Uh, Ceiling, if all goes really well for the team. I mean, everything goes good. Robin Fraser is a great coach, up for coach of the year. The players are doing really well. I think the ceiling for this team is fifth in the West. I think getting an away game, the top of the West is so loaded with Portland, Seattle, uh, LAFC. It's going to be hard to get a home playoff game in the Western Conference 
with one designated player. So my thing is a ceiling is fifth for Colorado. Now for a floor, that would be 10th. I think if all goes bad and just doesn't work, I could see this team falling to the 10th position. Uh, so that pretty much does it here for our picks, our predictions. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm Mike Guillaume, your host, Sons of a Pitch, an American soccer podcast. Good luck to the Rapids this season. They have a great base. They need to build on it, though. Will they? Will ownership put up? Will they put the money behind the club and get another DP or two? We will see. But good luck to your Rapids, and we'll see you on the next episode of Sons of a Pitch, an American soccer podcast.